torque element. There are moments in the auto world when a rumor feels like a whisper in a dark room, quiet, uncertain, impossible to trust, until the whisper refuses to die. That is exactly how the story of the new Tesla Model 2 began, a story carried through factories, leaked messages, hushed investor calls, and satellite images of places where cameras were never supposed to peek. And behind every whisper was the same question. Could Tesla really come back with an affordable car after abandoning the entire idea earlier this year? The strange part is this. Across the industry nobody, not the analysts, not the engineers, not even some of the suppliers, believed it was possible anymore. The world had shifted, the economics had changed, and cheap electric cars had become a math problem even the largest automakers could barely solve. Yet suddenly, out of nowhere, signals began forming again. Not loud signals. Not the bold moves Tesla usually makes. But signals wrapped in a silence that felt deliberate. Like someone didn't want the world to see what was happening behind the curtain until it was too late. And then came the bombshell. Sources close to the manufacturing pipeline quietly confirmed that the Model 2, the car once cancelled, had re-entered a unique stage of engineering calibration. Not just sketches, not just concept outlines but actual physical development. Not mass production. Not yet. But something far more interesting. Engineering level builds designed to validate the full pipeline. And inside those few words lies a secret that changes the entire story. When Tesla engineers say pipeline validation, they don't mean testing a car. They mean testing a system, a completely reinvented structure of assembly, robotics, material flow, software-driven quality correction, and human-robot collaboration that can bring a vehicle to life faster than traditional manufacturing can even prepare its tools. It's a process Tesla has been rewriting since the Model Y, pushing toward a future where cars are not built, but generated, as if production itself becomes a kind of code. But this time the code had a purpose no one expected. A car priced below the current standard. A car small enough to build by the millions but advanced enough to outperform vehicles far above its price bracket. A car designed not just as a product but as a system that could multiply across continents. That's where the real story begins. Because the whispers from Fremont, Texas, Shanghai, and even the suppliers point to something far stranger than just a cheaper Model 3. The flow of components, the battery sizes under testing, the updated motor architecture, the cooling approaches, they all match a car that is smaller, lighter, easier to produce, and designed with a geometry optimized for gigacasting adaptations. All clues point to a structure that matches the abandoned Model 2 project far more than any existing Tesla product. So why the secrecy? Why the silence? And why now? There's a moment every single person in the industry remembers. When Elon Musk stood on stage and stated flatly that Tesla would not continue forward with a low-cost dedicated vehicle platform. Those words shut the door. Investors panicked. Competitors celebrated. Analysts declared that Tesla had surrendered the affordable EV market forever. But those people forgot something. Tesla has always worked on two timelines, the public timeline and the internal one. A cancelled announcement is not always a cancelled project. Sometimes it's a diversion, a strategic retreat, a way to shut down external expectations while internal teams continue working without the pressure of the world's eyes. And according to individuals deeply involved in the early development cycle, that is exactly what happened here. The Model 2 was never erased, only paused, reorganized, redirected, and merged into a new engineering philosophy. Then something happened that forced Tesla to bring it back into the light. Not publicly, not officially, but in motion. That something was the global EV price war. A war Tesla itself triggered when it cut prices repeatedly, breaking the profit models of nearly every competitor. Suddenly vehicles from China, small, efficient, aggressively priced, began flooding markets Tesla once dominated with ease. It wasn't about performance anymore. It was about accessibility. And accessibility requires affordability. That's when Tesla realized they didn't just need a cheaper car. They needed a manufacturing breakthrough, one so significant that price would no longer be the barrier between consumers and electric vehicles. The breakthrough came from what Tesla calls a highly modularized structural process. Instead of building a car body the traditional way, stamping dozens of panels, welding them into a structure, and slowly assembling that structure piece by piece, Tesla engineers focused on minimizing the number of steps entirely. They took the idea of gigacasting and pushed it further, forcing the manufacturing lines to follow a new rhythm, one that flows around the product instead of forcing the product to follow the limits of old machinery. This was not a smaller Model 3. This was a different species of manufacturing. 
And once that system reached a point where the engineers could validate each segment of the line, the doors reopened. Not loudly. Not proudly. But quietly, methodically, as if Tesla wanted every piece to be proven before the world had the chance to judge it. That quiet approach leads to the strange pattern we're seeing right now. A set of timelines, movements, and internal tasks that suggest something major is preparing to be revealed, even though mass production remains months away. The most probable launch window? The upcoming event this November. But not in the way people expect. There won't be giant production numbers announced. No claim about immediate availability. Instead, what insiders describe sounds more like a controlled debut. A showcase of the product, the engineering philosophy behind it, and the pricing structure that will define Tesla's next decade. And that pricing structure is where the biggest shock hits. The Model 2, according to multiple aligned sources, is targeted to start roughly $5,000 to $5,500 below the original expected price, the $25,000 dream that Tesla once teased. In other words, the new target pushes the starting price into a psychological zone no one thought Tesla could reach. But achieving that price wasn't simply about cheaper batteries or smaller motors. It came from eliminating entire categories of waste in production. Think of a traditional vehicle line as a long chain of stations, each dependent on the previous one, each requiring equipment, calibration, maintenance, staffing. Tesla's new philosophy doesn't just shorten that chain. It breaks it, reshapes it, restructures it into a workflow that resembles software development more than car manufacturing. Instead of a line of 50 stations, imagine a condensed system of fewer than half that number, each one optimized through automation, each step synchronized to reduce stoppage, each component designed to fit into the structure with minimal handling. Fewer parts. Fewer steps. Fewer bottlenecks. And once you reduce steps, you reduce cost. Once you reduce cost, you reduce price. Once you reduce price, you open the door to scale. Scale is the key, because Tesla isn't building this car for one region. They are building it for every region that needs affordable electrification. And that means factories in Mexico, Germany, Shanghai, Texas, and potentially even India may eventually run their own versions of this pipeline. But before that happens, Tesla must validate one thing. Volume manufacturing at a level the company has never attempted before. That's why November matters. Not because deliveries are imminent but because Tesla finally has something to show. Something real, something developed, something calibrated enough to introduce without risking miscommunication. The car won't be ready for massive orders yet. But the world will finally see it. There's another layer to this story too, one hidden beneath the excitement of a new low-cost Tesla. The Model 2 isn't just a car, it's a strategic weapon. A tool designed to protect global market share from inexpensive EVs streaming out of China many priced far below what legacy automakers can compete with. But Tesla? Tesla has a secret advantage. Just like SpaceX reduces launch costs by rethinking the rocket itself, Tesla reduces EV costs by rethinking the factory. Competitors try to reduce prices by trimming features, lowering quality, or using cheaper components. Tesla reduces prices by making the manufacturing process so efficient that the product becomes inherently cheaper to produce without sacrificing performance or durability. That's how Tesla intends to win the price war. And the most fascinating part? The Model 2 might not even be the final name. Internal teams refer to it using multiple code structures, none of which match previous Tesla naming patterns. This is where things get interesting. The people closest to the project describe two distinct variants. Not trims of the same car, but versions optimized for different market strategies. One focuses on maximum affordability. The other focuses on balanced performance at a still low price. This dual approach model gives Tesla leverage to compete across multiple regions with varying economic conditions. Areas with newer EV incentives may receive the ultra-low cost version. Markets demanding stronger performance may receive the slightly higher priced variant. This is where the timeline reveals something beautiful. Tesla isn't trying to compete with cheap EVs by racing downward in quality. They're competing by offering something far more valuable, a Tesla-level experience at a price the competitors cannot achieve without losing money. But now, the real cinematic moment. Why is Tesla so quiet? Why no leaks from Elon? Why no teasing statements on social media? Why is the company acting like nothing is happening? The answer is strategy. Tesla saw what happened in the past when they announced a vehicle too early. The Roadster. The Cybertruck. The Semi. The timeline stretched because expectations grew too fast. 
This time, Tesla is doing the opposite. Develop first. Validate first. Build the system first. Only then reveal. It's the calm before the storm. And for anyone paying close attention, the clues are everywhere. Material orders shifting. Prototype components moving across borders. Testing data aligning with a smaller class vehicle. Suppliers confirming battery pack sizes inconsistent with any current Tesla. Engineering hires assigned to low-voltage architecture improvements designed specifically for compact layouts. Piece by piece, the puzzle now forms a picture impossible to ignore. This isn't just a rumor. This isn't a maybe. This isn't a concept. This is happening. And when November arrives, Tesla won't simply present a cheaper car. They will present a vision. One that begins with the Model 2 and spreads across the world like a blueprint for the next generation of electric mobility. Imagine families who never thought they could afford an EV finally seeing a Tesla within reach. Imagine rideshare networks converting entire fleets because the economics finally make sense. Imagine developing countries adopting clean transportation at a scale once unimaginable because the cost barrier has finally shattered. This is not a product launch. This is a shift in global infrastructure. A shift Tesla has been preparing for silently, methodically, and with a precision that borders on obsession. And yet, the most dramatic moment hasn't happened. Because the biggest question remains floating in the air like unresolved tension at the end of a film. When Tesla reveals the Model 2, what will it change? Will it trigger the same reaction the original Model 3 did, long lines, global demand, pre-order chaos? Or will it shift the EV landscape so violently that other automakers are forced to rebuild their entire strategies overnight? Will it bring the world closer to sustainable mobility, or will it ignite the most intense price war in automotive history? The answer is coming. Not someday. Not maybe. But soon. The Model 2, the car that was once dead, is alive again. And this time, it may change everything.